Okay, so this is part 46, I believe, of my community site series. Um, and I've kind of made a decision that I don't want all of these, uh, these number things here. So what I'm going to do is instead of deleting them in case someone wants them there, um, I'm simply just going to um, comment them out. And so if I just re-upload the file and refresh the page, they're just not there. But our next and previous functionality still works. So, uh, what we're going to start on now is our actual individual uh, video page. So, to do that, what we're going to do is first I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to take these two lines of code, and I'm going to hit Control X on my keyboard, and inside of here, I'm going to echo. I always spell it with a P for some reason. Uh, I'm going to echo them out, um, but they are going to be. Um, Whoops! separate echo statements um, because later on we will actually have a, a right column content so after we do that we just scroll to the top we do the same thing with our um, left div I'm going to hit control X and this needs to be inside of this else statement here so move that line so inside of here we want to um, have our full area and then we want to echo an end div tag so for our main or for the individual video pages um, they're going to be using the full um, um, ID for our div okay so inside of there uh, what we need to do is we need to duplicate it again and so we have our not profile sorry we have a video, and we'll go ahead and just um, duplicate that again. So, and um, full and video. So, after we do that, we want to put our query in. Query equals MySQL underscore query. Um, and inside of here, what we want to do is we want to say select. Um, all from videos where ID equals, and this is going to be our get ID variable. <coughs> so that's going to make it so we can get all of that. And we're going to use num rows, mysql underscore num rows. Um, So inside of here we have our query. Now the reason we're going to do this is because we want to make sure that the ID that has been um, passed using the get method is actually valid. So we want to make sure that it's in the database. And obviously it's, if it's not in the database we want to say something like the video you were looking for was not found. That'll work. Um, and then inside of here we want to say dollar sign numrows equals equals zero or equals equals one. Sorry. So if the video is found, pretty much. So if the video is found, we want to use um, row our standard uh, fetch a sock and our query inside, and then we want to um, get all of our data. Now, if you want, you can scroll down and like I'm doing is copy all that and just paste it up here. Um, so it'll save a lot of time just retyping it all. So that gets all of our data from the database. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in some comments. So start right column. Div ID equals right. And then I'm going to have another echo. I'm going to have our end div tag, end right column. So the reason I'm doing it like this is because it may get a little hectic. This is going to be our left column. Now our right column is essentially going to contain, or going to hold, all of our content for the page, and our right column is going to contain an add. Um, because a lot of people have messaged me and asked me if I can kind of make this ad friendly 
Um, and I eventually, I've always eventually intended on putting ads into the site. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to make it real simple to replace my ad code with your own ad code. For example, your Google AdSense code. Um, and then just, um, and then just paste it in and whatnot. So I'm going to pause the video and grab my AdSense code. So I've got my code. If I just paste it in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to indent it and reverse indent in a few spots. So uh, what we need to do is we need to replace all of the um, double quotation marks with single single quotation marks. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to keep clicking replace until it gets all of them. And be very careful with that because you just want the ad, the ones within the ad code, or else you're going to have problems. Now, our left column is going to contain all of our content, really. So what we're going to do first is we're going to style our columns and everything. Um, so open up your CSS file, and you want to change the full width attribute. You want to change it uh, up it by 5. So after we do that, we can just scroll down. And I'm going to take the uh, generic profile um, div, and I'm just going to throw in some space here and paste it. I'm going to rename it to video, and I'm just going to paste it a couple of times. Um, and we're going to have our right column and our left column. So obviously we need to float both of our columns, so we're going to float the right column to the right, float the left column to the left. <coughs> Our right column, I know what this is going to be set to. We need to set a width of about 160 pixels. Um, and the reason being is because the type of ad I'm using is 160 pixels. Um, and we need to set the width of the left column to um, 640 pixels, I think it should be. Uh, and that's the width of the video. Now, that pretty much takes up that well that does take up the entire um, span of the website and the reason why we increased our full by five pixels is to give it just a little bit of space um, so after we have that um, that's really all we need for now um, but I'm gonna scroll down and to get this out of the way now um, where we have our image tag I'm just gonna copy it and rename it to h2 because we're gonna use uh, an h2 tag for our title and by default the header 2 tag has um, a, a top margin and not no bottom margin and I want to reverse that so I'm going to set the top margin to 0 and I'm going to set the bottom margin to about uh, 15 pixels so then I'm going to upload the CSS file um, in the styles folder and then um, we just need to work on the um, videos page now. So that pretty much takes care of our styles for now, and we won't need that for a while. So inside of our left column area, uh, we're going to have some code, obviously. We're going to say display title, and we're going to put our echo. And I'm going to put header two tags right here. There we go, finally. So I'm going to put my header two tags in here. Now, we're going to have our title displayed here. Now, I'm going to make the title a link, and I'll explain why. Now, obviously it's kind of stupid to be able to link back to the same page you're on, um, but because of how search engines work, um, if you... search engines will crawl a page, so essentially look through a page and um, find URL, so it looks for anchor tags, with an href value, and it pretty much adds it to their their giant database, really. And then, um, so if we link back to this page as our title, then the uh, search engines are more likely to understand that, okay, this is the title of the page, so you'll be more likely to be found within search engines. So after we have our title, we want to display our video. So this is just going to be another echo statement, and I'm going to pause the video and grab the code for the videos. <coughs> okay, so I've got the code here, now there's a couple of things you want to note. Um, we have our width and height set here to 640 by 505, 
Um, and right here we have our video ID. Now you want to keep that like that and right here we have this. Now I'll scroll over so if you want you can just grab the code. Um, but this is essentially just the normal embed code on, on a YouTube video except we're just making it dynamic where we use our own variable for our video ID. Now if you want your videos, whoops, if you want your videos to autoplay then right here and right here we have autoplay equal to 1. Now if you don't want your videos to autoplay you want to change that equal to 0. So yeah that's just a little something to note. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload this just to prove that it is working. So if we click on for example this video and you'll probably be able to hear it when it starts. Whoops. Okay, so it's obviously working. Um, so everything's being displayed, and we have our ad right here. Um, huh, that's kind of funny. A sexual harassment ad. Um, harassment videos. That's kind of fun. Um, so now that we have our, our video and everything set up, so we have our title and we have our spacing right there. So that's, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, now what I'm going to do is we're going to start working on our information area, essentially. Um, so below our video, we're going to have our code for our information. So display information. So we're going to have an echo. Now the first thing in here we're going to have is our user underscore name. So that's going to be the person who, up, or who added this video to the archive and it's going to be a link to um, our site Oops. to our site and then our profile page question mark ID equals dollar sign user underscore ID so we're gonna link to it and then we're gonna say on and then date so that's the date of it and I'm gonna wrap the date in bold tags so it's going to make the date bold. And actually, I'm going to wrap the entire, um, oh, this entire little thing in bold tags. So, so yeah. And we're going to say, um, that'll stop there. And right here above this, I'm going to put in echo. And I'm going to say, put in our bold tags. Oops, bold. And inside of here, we want to put our views. And then I'm going to say views. So this is the number of views. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because um, if I upload this file, <coughs> and if we refresh the page, and it's done. OK, so uh, oh, I forgot to add in the code to float it. So what it's going to do is it's going to say by the username on, and then the date. And then our views is going to be all the way over here. So what this needs to be is, let's just go ahead and style this, style equals float uh, right. So if we upload it now, should take care of the problem. So our views is now over there. So it's displaying the basic information here, and after this what we want to do is we will throw on a um, break tag right there. and now is really we're just going to echo the um, the description and then I'm gonna throw on two break tags and I'm gonna echo the keywords um, and actually <laughs> and actually yeah um, so where we have our on date, I'm going to put in, and then our category. And I think I spelled that wrong. Yeah. So, category. So, I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will continue with um, the videos page.